Hey everyone, my name is Olav, and today I will give you a quick overview slash tutorial on how to use the Extreme PBR Combo Add-on, which includes over 1100 textures with automatic displacement and shaders. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by deleting the default cube, so X to delete the default cube, and then I'm going to turn the light source into a sun, and set the strength to 15. Then I'm also going to add a background image, so environment texture, open, and then just open a random background image. And when we go into rendered view, we can see the background image. And let's increase the number of samples. And then let's go down to film and turn on transparent. And then let's add a plane. And then S2 scale. Okay, so now we have the basic scene, and I'm going to show you how the add-on works. So I'm going to select the Extreme PBR combo, and then enable every kind of uh, map kit, which uh, gives us the displacements, the shaders, and so on. And then let's select a texture. So we can start off with a metal texture, for example, and then just add. And as you can see, within a second, you have the texture set up automatically, which is amazing. We can uh, try some different ones. And as you can see, we have a new texture. You can also choose from many different categories of textures. So let's select a wooden texture, for example. It's also very easy to change the size, location, and rotation of the texture. So let's uh, decrease the size. And you can also change the location on the X and Y axis. And you can also change the rotation on the z-axis. So let's set it back to zero. Okay, so now I'm going to add a sphere, and we're going to take a look at the texture displacement. So let's go back to object mode, and then shift A to add. Then let's add a sphere. And let's uh, add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the number of subdivisions. And then let's add smooth shading as well. Okay, so press G to grab. And uh, let's start off with an ice texture. So uh, in the categories, select ice. And then just add the texture. As you can see, we get the displacement. And by increasing the number of subdivisions, we can increase the detail of the uh, displacement and texture as well. Next up, I'm going to go to the fabric category and select a knitted material, which looks really cool with the displacement included in this add-on. So let's just uh, refresh. Now let's take a look at the asphalt category and select one of the textures. And refresh. And the asphalt with the automatic displacement looks amazing. So uh, let's try out a different category. I'm also very impressed with the uh, glass material that comes with the uh, add-on. So let's add the glass. And we can also add the water. So let's uh, go to the water category. And then refresh. And when we play the animation, you can see that the water is already animated, which is very useful. Okay, so let's try out a uh, ground texture. One with grass, and then refresh. As you can see, we get amazing textures with displacement. Okay, so let's just add a few more textures before we get into uh, textures and displacement for larger objects. So let's try out a marble texture, for example. And with textures like marble and wood, I usually decrease the level of displacement. So just go to the uh, displacement settings and decrease the value. And as you can see, it looks a little bit better. So let's try out a different one. Refresh. Before this add-on, I did not really use textures because it was so time-consuming, but now it's so easy to add, so I'm actually using textures all the time. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add textures to larger objects and uh, larger planes as well. So let's select the plane. And then we need to select a texture. So let's select uh, a stone texture. And then uh, we need to go into the edit mode and then increase the number of subdivisions. Start off by add vertex and then increase the number of subdivisions, which we need for the displacement details. Okay, and then let's go back to object mode. And then we can refresh to add the uh, texture. So let's just add a random texture. And as you can see, when we go into rendered view, we have the photorealistic texture with the correct level of displacement, which uh, looks really good in a scene. Okay, so let's try out a uh, different category of textures, like uh, planks, for example. Let's refresh. And thanks to the automatic displacements, we get three-dimensional planks, which is very useful. So let's uh, try out some cobblestones. Refresh. And again, thanks to displacement, we get three-dimensional cobblestones when we add the cobblestone texture. And uh, let's try out the tiles category. Hit refresh. And once again, the result is really good, especially considering that uh, this is EV, which is real time. So uh, let's try a wood texture. And for wood textures, I will probably decrease the uh, strength of the displacement. So let's go to the displacement settings. And then decrease the displacement strength. And once again, it looks good. So let's try out a uh, different wood texture. And then refresh. And then decrease the uh, displacement strength. And I'm going to show you two more categories before we wrap up this tutorial. So uh, let's select the uh, water texture. And as you can see, it's already animated, which is very useful. And then let's try out the rooftop textures as well. Refresh. And uh, let's try another one. One of the darker ones. And again, the results are amazing. And I'm also going to show you the file that I used for the thumbnail, which is basically just a lot of spheres with different textures with automatic displacements. And each of these uh, spheres has six levels of subdivisions with a lot of uh, displacement details. So you can work with a lot of different textures at the same time, which uh, looks great in Eevee. You can buy this add-on at the Blender Market and support the developer as well as the Blender Foundation. Overall, I recommend this add-on and uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and subscribe.